Hello, and I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question for Miss Lancey's is of a rather sensitive nature, so if there are any children present, I suggest you send them out into the street to play or work as is best for their moral character. Are they gone? All right then, let's continue. She wants to know why it is, I think, that some people have made certain salacious associations as regards certain creations of mine, uh, specifically those of a more cephalopod nature. Uh, I must admit, it did come as quite a shock to me when I discovered that people could have such lurid thoughts regarding my work, but what frightened me even more was the speed at which I was educated on this fact. I spent some time in the 1920s, and no one lives through that decade without becoming, well, moderately aware of certain vigorous aerobic exercises. But I feel that we were rather more discreet in that age. Of course, you had the occasional loud-mouthed bragging exception to the rule, like an Aleister Crowley type, but for the most part, we did try to keep these things quiet. I don't know if it's better or, or worse than this generation's uh, current openness, but it certainly felt tidier. I have no idea what, what to make of, of the fact that there are numerous stories, drawings, the occasional costume that puts these ideas into practice, but I can at least console myself with the notion that at least people have enough grace and, and dignity to leave the real classics alone. I mean, could you imagine people doing something similar with, with Sherlock Holmes? It's absolutely unthinkable. I hope that helps. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. And thank you.